Hey everybody, quick disclaimer, this is not before I start the video. This is not a hit piece, this is more of a channel critique of a YouTuber. And, well, he's a channel with a million subscribers, well, I have to say, you know, like, uh, it's a, I'm criticizing somebody. And it should be pretty harsh, especially you know, like one thing on his social media th feeds too. Okay, hey everybody, my name's Adam. I have oh, I have opinions as inflammatory as hemorrhoids, so you better stock up on that fucking preparation H. I'll just lube up my finger. Just like run it between your ass cheeks, jab my finger up your ass just to get the woo feeling not to be gay, just to be an asshole. Okay, comic story. The channel, uh, his uh, channel is basically based off of fucking plagiarism. He just sits there, blurs out word bubbles in comic books. Read them to him in a falsely enthusiastic voice like this. And, well, he thinks, you know, like, he's on the big high horse of, you know, like, comic book YouTube where, you know, like, he doesn't do anything transformative with it. You know, like, it'd be like me uploading a movie and just, like, letting it play through to my channel, you know how fucking fast that shit would get taken down? Like that. Yeah, he says he's making, he's enhancing the comic book experience by fucking reading comic books to you, like, uh, not even doing a review of the content he's reading. He's not doing a commentary or a reaction on the book. He just sits there and reads it to you. You know, he scans the pages, blurs out the, like, bubbles and shit. And when he blurs out those little bubbles, I think he has a script and he just reads from it and then he just, you know, shows it panel for panel what's fucking happening in the book. Like me, when I do a review, you know, like, I pan and scan, I uh, you know, like, tell you about the art, you know, like, the storyline, you know, like, if it's a really good story that I'm really immersed in, you know, like, sometimes, yeah, oh, shit. Sorry, guys, I was fucking reading it for a second. And the whole thing is, he just likes to you know, like, and on social media, he's, he says the comic book community should be fun and everybody should hate one more day and not universally and just agree on that like a bunch of mindless drones. Because one more day was, well, I didn't care for it because Spider-Man, you know, like, just bastardized his own... You know, like saying, with great power becomes great responsibility by making a deal with the devil. See, that's... And the whole thing is, you know, like, he doesn't want us to, you know, like... You know, like, people in the comic book community, on social media, YouTube or anything, address. You know, like, what's wrong with Marvel Comics today? And I understand it's his business is like... He doesn't want to step on toes. Well, if it was my business, or likelihood, I'd be stepping on fucking Marvel's toes. I'd be fucking breaking them. I'd be curb stopping those motherfuckers. Just shattering them, plus, you know, like, there were, the toes would be non fucking existence. They would be fucking severed from the foot. Yeah, and then he pops up, and he, like, he has this. And you know, like, 
he seems like very just in general when he does a face cam, you know, ranting about YouTube or some shit. He seems like the mundane man where he just sits on the fence and doesn't, you know, like, point out any fucking wrongs. Me, I'm one of those people that does point out the wrongs. See, that's why I boycott fucking Marvel Comics, and I know the Miss Marvel movie is going to be fucking terrible. Like the comic book. Although, yeah, she looks feminine. She doesn't look like a female to male trans person. Eddie pops up in one of his fake hands. He pops up with his purple pompadour and shakes it like that all dramatically, too. Which, you know, the only reason I think somebody sh should, if they're a big time YouTuber, dye their hair is for a charity event. Say if I had like a million subscribers and I was like doing a stream for charity, I dye my hair like blue, green, red, purple, go blonde or some shit. Yeah, I do that just for charity to help another person out. That's the only reason. And he doesn't, you know, like, and, um, he doesn't, you know, like, strip down the ales of Marvel with the creative teams and shit like that, you know, like, with people, you know, like, and if you disagree with somebody at Marvel, you're automatically an alt-right Nazi and shit. Yeah. See, he doesn't address any viewpoints. He's, like, the mundane mat of the comic book community. Just perched up on top of his fence, you know, like plagiarizing other people's works, not doing anything transformative. See, I, see, and he proposed a channel to the comic book community, like me. I, yeah, I talk about comic book news, but I'm also a social commentary on how, you know, like the far left has gone mentally retarded and a lot of shit. You can laugh at. It's all fucking laughable. What's going on in the far left that has rubbed on that uh, nastily um, hit ground zero at Marvel? Like Dan Slott. He fucking turned Spider Man into a fucking cuck. Okay? Yeah, you know, he is in a relationship with Mockingbird. They don't even sleep in the same fucking bad. I think, you know, like the thing with Mockingbird in that relationship dynamic, she's banging out of the dude Spider-Man just stands there and watches and he just like starts crying because he's not getting any of that sweet loving pussy. See, and now Slot's going to probably fuck up Iron Man and everything's going to go downhill from there. See, and you know, like, and the whole thing is, I unsubscribe from his channel because he's a, he doesn't address issues or give a review of, oh, after reading the book, he doesn't even review his, like, what he's reading. Zero transformativeness. Zero. See? See, Benny? This is what you do when you read a comic with anything. You just tell a story. You don't have any criticism towards it. That means you're this a big fat zero. See, look there, there in our so girl, the emptiness. You want to be like this, you have a close, tight fist. See, I've got to call this out. Uh, you know, like, yeah, like, I have to call you out. 
on what you're doing on YouTube. And I had to call them out. See, I'm not, you know, like, I'm not mad at the, I'm not mad at him. I just don't like how he's making, like, a whole bunch of money off of other people's work. See, if I was doing what he was doing, reading comics to the viewer, I would actually, you know, like, review it, you know, like, say if it has bad art, I'd make fucking jokes about it and shit. Or, you know, like, if it goes off the rails with the fucking story, where they, like, try to make this heavy-handed political message and then they fall flat out of their face. Well, until next time, guys, remember, be careful. Stay safe. And just be careful. I don't want anything bad happening to anyone out there, guys. And, and I will see you around until next time. Have a nice day. Hopefully everything's well for my views out there. And I hope, and you know, like if you're having a bad day and you're watching and you watch this video, I hope it cheers you up. I give you more, you know, like crack a smile, get you through a hard time and shit. Because, you know, like, those up, you know, like, the minuscule amount of subscribers, yeah, they're important to me, you know, like, and I appreciate you all, and I have to thank you again for subscribing to my channel. Until next time, and, whew, before I go, please comment, you know, like, uh, what you want me to review, you know, like, I have if you want me to do single issue reviews, mega reviews, because I have Ragman 1 for, through 2, you know, like I have um, Demon 1 and 2, Apollo and Midnighter 1, 2, and 3, I don't have the rest of the series, uh, because it's out of print and hard to find. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Batman 2, um, Dead Man's one, for th one through three. You know, like I'm gonna have Demon number three pretty soon too. It'll be like hanging out back there. Pretty soon, uh, I'll have um, Doomsday Clock number three coming up on Tuesday. And um, my um, local comic book shop only has cable number one fifty one. I might just. If you want me to, I'll slam, I'll slap up a review of that because that's the only book I'll be buying just to support the artist John Mellon because of all the shit he's going through. And uh, there's Captain. I have um the Rise and Fall of Captain issues uh three through six. I can't find no the Fall and Rise of Captain Adam issues three through six. I can't. Find them one and two. Oh, and I have Dead Man, the most insane great thing I've read by Neil Adams. It's just batshit insane, and I like it. And you know, like, just uh, comment down below uh, on what you would like to see me review, or if you if you want me to uh, do a mega review of it. Because, yeah, like, the demon, number one, I've already, uh, covered, you know, like, if you want me to do a single one, or a double review of, you know, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Batman, I'm fine with that. Just comment down below in the comments section on what you would like to see me review. Until next time, take care, take easy, and have a good day.